Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about using while loops in JavaScript. Now, a while loop is basically a programming structure which we can use and it'll loop through a specified block of code until a certain condition is false. So we can use while loops to like repeat certain code a bunch of times and maybe every time we go through the loop we'll do something a little bit different, but we can basically specify some code and we can run over that code a bunch of different times and using loops allows us to do a bunch of cool stuff inside of our JavaScript. So I'm going to show you guys a very basic example of a while loop and then we'll look at how we can use while loops to create a little guessing game. So down here, I'm just going to create a while loop. And the first thing I want to do is create a variable. So I'm just going to say variable I is equal to one. And this variable will basically sort of help us to illustrate what's going on inside of this loop. And now I'm going to create my while loop. So I'm going to say while, and I'm going to make an open and close parentheses, and we'll do open and close curly brackets. So this is like the basic structure for the while loop. Now, basically what's going to happen is inside of these curly brackets, I'm going to place some code and that code is going to get executed through. It's just going to get looped through a bunch of times. And our program is just going to loop through that code until a certain condition is false. So up here in these parentheses, we're going to specify a condition. And as long as that condition is true, we're going to keep iterating through that loop. And so generally what we're going to do is each time we go through the loop, we're going to like modify something. And then eventually, uh, whatever we modified will make this condition false. So I'll show you guys, I'm going to make a condition. that's just going to be I less than 10. So as long as this variable I has a value that's less than 10, you know, let's make it less than or equal to 10. As long as this variable I has a value that's less than or equal to 10, we're going to keep looping through the code that's inside of these curly brackets. So I'm going to write out some code inside of here and I'm just going to say document dot write, and we're just going to write out that variable I. And then I also want to just include a break sign in here. So it's a little bit easier to, to read. And then after this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increment I. So I'm going to add one to I. So I'm going to say I plus plus, and we can use this plus plus to basically add one to I. So plus plus is equivalent to saying I is equal to I plus one. It's just sort of a shorthand. So I'm going to say I plus plus. And now what's going to happen is the code inside of here is going to loop through until this condition is false. So what you'll see is it's going to loop through 10 times and then I is going to be equal to 11. So I will no longer be less than or equal to 10. So I'm going to show you guys over here on the browser. When I refresh the page, we're basically just printing out numbers one through 10. So what's happening is let me make this a little bit bigger. What's happening is we're starting this while loop and we're basically saying, okay, is this condition true? Is I less than or equal to 10? And in our case, I is less than or equal to 10. So we go over here to the document and we write out one. Then I increment one. So one is now equal to two. I come back up here and I check this condition again. So after I loop through the code inside the while loop one time, then I go back up to the top and I check the condition again. So I'm saying, okay, I is now equal to two. Is two less than or equal to 10? Two is less than or equal to 10. So we print out two and then we increment I. So I is now equal to three. So what do we do? We go back up to the top and we check that condition again. So I say, okay, is three less than or equal to 10? Yes, it is. We keep doing that until all the way until we get to I is equal to 10, right? So now I has a value of 10 and we say, okay, is, I, is 10 less than or equal to 10? Yes. So we print out 10, we increment I. So I is now equal to 11. We check the condition again. Is 11 less than or equal to 10? No go, it's not. So we just break out of the while loop and now we're done. So if I was to, for example, get rid of this I plus plus, what's going to happen is this loop is just going to go forever. So we call that an infinite loop. And this is something that you guys might encounter where this condition is never going to be false because we're never incrementing I. So it's just going to basically just loop infinitely. So you always want to make sure that when you're creating a loop that you make sure that the condition will eventually become false. Um, and you guys are going to get into cases where you'll have infinite loops. Everyone does. Um, and actually in certain cases you want to have an infinite loop, but 
for the most part, you probably want to avoid it. So that's the basics of using a while loop. And I want to point out that if I was to come up here to this I variable and set it equal to 10, or actually, I guess I would have to set it equal to 11. Um, so now none of this code is going to execute because 11 is by default greater than or equal greater than 10. So this condition is going to be false right off the bat and we're not going to do anything. And this brings me to another point, which is there's another type of while loop. And instead of being called a while loop, it's called a do while loop. And the only difference is that with a while loop, the first thing that we do is check to see if this condition's true. And so that's why this 11 wasn't able to get printed out because the first thing we did before we executed any code was check this condition, right? We immediately just checked it. If it's not true, we're not doing any code, right? But what you can do is you can switch this around. So I can take this while condition, I can put it down here at the bottom and I can say do up here. And now all this code is going to get executed first and then we're going to check the condition. So now we'll actually be able to print out 11 because this is going to happen first and before we check the condition. So when I refresh the page, you'll see we're able to print out 11 because in a do while loop, you're performing the operation inside the loop first and then you're checking this condition to see if you should loop again. So do while and while loops are both going to come in handy and in certain circumstances you're going to need do while loops and other circumstances you're going to need while loops. I would say by far while loops are more common than do while loops, but I just wanted to show you guys like how we can do stuff like that. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.